Sorry, get that hooked up. We'll go down there. Hey, what are you guys doing? No, no time for that. We're losing money. Drop that light down. Hey, what about your safety line? Are oh, we going to argue about this or are we going to get it done? Matt, hand me a pipe wrench. Here it is. Confined spaces, they can be deadly if we're not careful. Long drops, tight crawl spaces, pipes, and odd fittings to maneuver around. Many spaces have hazardous atmospheres containing flammable or toxic gases and vapors. Some contain atmospheres with too little or too much oxygen to breathe effectively. We need to be careful of all these things, never taking shortcuts where safety is concerned. Because of the dangers many confined spaces pose, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, created the permit required confined space regulation. This regulation is designed to help cut down the number of injuries and fatalities suffered during confined space entries. In this regulation, OSHA addresses issues such as the types of personal protective equipment needed for confined space work, how to use safety equipment like a tripod, safety lines, and harness, when to send fresh air into a space through forced air ventilation, and how to test the air to make sure it's safe to breathe.